Okay, this is a much anticipated zoo tour. Much delayed. Much delayed because failed recordings, life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, failed recordings and life, really. Yeah. So, we're gonna, so you would have seen Jerry's zoo. If not, you should see it because it's good. Um, this is my zoo. Oh, I don't know what Jerry's doing. He's navigating. So this is my car park. It's pretty big. Um, I'll tell you more about my zoo when you get closer to it. Yeah. The one that charity zoo on. We did. Yeah. Um, a lot, most of the zoo we we bought ourselves, but certain things like this car park we got from the workshop, which is like what other players create things and they let mm -hmm. you use them. Yep, so we're going to stop for a second. Yep, so this is my park. Oh, no, <laughs> Joe's the cameraman, so I'm telling him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is my park. This is like the entranceway, like you'll see it properly in a minute. But it's called Papillon Park. I think I'm pronouncing it right. I asked my uncle because French. Um, so it's named, it's, it basically means the butterfly park because, as you'll find out later, butterflies have a lot to do with MS. So you've got your car park, which we've just seen. Um, uh, there's a woman with a really cool t-shirt just walk past. Here we have a wheelchair rental. So most people of MS, if they have mobility issues, will have their own wheelchairs. Like my nan has her own wheelchair. But before she had her own wheelchair, she would rent a wheelchair to go around places uh, easier. So I just thought I'd put a wheelchair rental in in case people need it. There's, there's, then this is the sign that Jerry loves. Oh, we'll come back to it. Uh, here's the sign which basically said, if, if you lose your shit in our park, that's on you. And we also have bicycles because eco friendly. Cool, we're gonna go in. So this is the big entrance, the big entrance dome. And as you can see, reverse. Reverse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, it's called Papillon Wildlife Park. Um Papillon is French butterfly. Butterflies have become a symbol for MS due to the brain scans, people with the condition. Mm -hmm. You can see on the sign that I've made that you can see a little butterfly shape. And also, I've used a lot of orange because orange is a colour used for MS. I'm not sure of the reasoning, but that's what my research told me. So here we're into the dome. First, we've got a uh, here to help section, um, a little information booth. And the next information booth, we have like a uh, all proceeds go to the MS therapy centre, as well as more information about uh, the name of the park. And you can also grab your, your little uh, souvenirs because who doesn't love a souvenir? Okay, then we have our toilets. We've got a big disabled toilet because that's quite important. And in between the toilets, we have a, um, the staff building. Okay. And then we have one of my favourite bits, which is Forrest's food court. Forrest is our little chubby hamster man. You can see there. He always likes to eat. So I thought I'd name the food court after him. Have they all got little ear pieces in? They've got ear pieces in. That's bizarre. Okay. Um, um, next to the food court, which has like your pizza your ice cream your coffee we have uh, assisted table side ordering so if you've got a mess you tend to have mobility issues so it's not as easy for you to queue up get your food sit down so that will deliver the food to the table and then we also have our flower gardens either side and i made them rainbow because who doesn't have a rainbow i spent i took way too long coloring those flowers so we're going to leave the dome and we're going to walk around this way and see some animals we also have some cherry blossoms because Jerry said that bit of land looked very bare, so I put some cherry blossoms in. I mean, there was a, 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 a pretty oh yeah. My zoo's very busy, so excuse all the people. And all the lag. Yeah. That man has like ten kids with him. Did you see that? Yeah, he's first <laughs> Okay, so what way are we gonna go, Joey? Sure. So you can see on your on your right, you've got the back end of the door, the staff building that you can see from the, the dome, and we also have a staff quarantine. Is that a quarantine building? Yeah. I believe so. Uh, quarantine building for when animals come to your zoo, you need to quarantine them to make sure they've not got any diseases. We all know what quarantine means. There's no need to explain that right now. Yeah, no, uh, okay, so we're going to go to our first exhibit, which is the giant panda. Thank you for the sign for reminding me. So here's our giant panda. We're gonna have, we're gonna look at the sign before we go inside. So you can see the, there's little donation boxes everywhere, which I thought would replicate the fact that we're doing a charity stream. And here, for every animal, I made like a personalised sign. 
So this one is called, this exhibit is called Jeremy Corbett and his pals, because if you know us, we know we've got this Ikea panda called Jeremy. And I've also put on this thing, like, even though they look colourful, uh, colourful, cuddly, don't put your hands in, because otherwise they may take fingers off. Let's go see if we can do some pandas. Hello, lad. Hello. I relate to pandas, they're so slow. And there's some poop. When I was building it, they got really hot. So I just started spamming heaters everywhere. No, coolers. Coolers everywhere. Oh, nothing. Lazy pandas. <laughs> Look at him with his mouth open. That's how Joey sleeps. <laughs> yeah. I, I tried to make it um, using this, the Asian pack. Because zoos normally replicate the area they come from, don't they? Um, whenever you have it, so you've got all of our like one way glass so we can see in fact they can't see us. And each of the viewing platforms, you have some benches because obviously, if you have a mess or if you're walking around a massive zoo, you're going to want to sit down. Yeah, you got my sign again. <laughs> I really enjoyed making the signs because with the new mod, no, not mod, with the new update, you can add your own signage in, so it makes it more personal. And again, you've got my the a Harry and Ross logo, you just passed. Just going on a little walking tour. Set <laughs> so the pandas. Okay. As you can see down the middle of the two exhibits, you've got a little staff pass so the staff can get to the exhibits and look after the animals. Okay. What are we up to now? Oh, this is one of my favourite exhibits. This is the Timberwolves. Um, the Timberwolves are dedicated to a bunch of animals, which you'll see. I thought it, because I just thought it was quite funny that these wolves are like big, they're noble, they're quite scary creatures, but our common house dog is like a relative of the wolf. Descendant. Descendant, yeah. yeah. Well, relative descendant, I think. So this is Belle, my crazy dog. Miss her a lot, but she's mad. Then we have Buddy and Buster. I, I love that picture of them. Uh, you've got an information board there and a view and a CT platform. And here we have Lottie and Ollie, where, where Ollie just looks fun with Lottie. Ollie looks better. <laughs> and then you have Ringo and Rosie. Oh, I miss little Ringo. But yeah, I didn't see all the dogs in my life. <laughs> and obviously, there's a big, um, a big entrance um, sign that I got from the workshop, which we'll see as we walk around. But yeah, this is their exhibit. Custom shot they made. Custom shot they made, yeah. And I, um, I also wanted them to have like a viewing platform, like so they can look out and survey everything. Oh, there's some wolves there. Is that his? Oh, he was yawning. I love the graphics of this game. Like mm. it's, it's, they go for realism, don't they? Yeah. 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 It's recording and doing high quality graphics. Like, oh, look away, vegans. Oh, he's playing the <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, mate. He he heard we were talking about him, he? He's got sorry. <laughs> I could sit and watch like these animals for ages. I was going to call it Pride Rock, but I think Disney would copyright me. So. Yeah. <laughs> This is the, uh, as we go out, we'll see the big um, sign that I spoke about earlier. Pretty impressive. As I said, I didn't make this, but I incorporated it into my zoo. That's what I love about this game. Like, it's a community of, of it's a ton. <laughs> Here's the walls. It's a very elaborate exhibit. So, what do we have next? Oh, let's go. To, let's go to the sign to reveal what this one is. Let's go, go to that big sign over there. <laughs> there you go. Someone's using the benches. Glad you enjoy the benches, lady. Otters' pocket. So I've made lots of signs for these otters. So I've put little facts. So giant otters are keen swimmers, so if you can't see them, they're swimming. 
Um, I've put uh, otters, carnivorous, so don't touch them. I mean, not that you would, but I also called it otters pocket because of the cabins. Love a bit of a uh, gay representation there. Um, and then I put otters hold hands when they sleep so they don't drift away. We also have a lovely sign here. This, I, I got the template from the workshop, but I um, added the name and stuff myself. It's huge. It really is huge. So I mentioned the cabins. You'll see why I named it after the cabins in a second. There you go. It's got a massive log cabin there. I don't think we can go in it, but it's just decorative. Uh, yeah. But I told you they like swimming, which is why the exhibit is mostly water. Let's see if we can see any otters. These are the giant otters. Not your standard. South America. We like otters. See, look, they're holding hands. <laughs> oh, I found this in the workshop as well. I put their little mud bath. Is it mud bath? No, it's like, yeah, the mud bath right in the middle of the otter god. We've called him the otter god because what else would you call him? <laughs> Hi. We've got um, loads of um, little platforms in the water. When we, when we were doing the stream, it, I finished this quite early in the morning and I realised that lily pads were floating. So that's all fixed now. <laughs> they also have a little, little pontoon kind of thing. If you... Oh! You play with those? Sprinkler. If you spin your camera around, off you look at it. You can do a little, little uh, pontoon platform thing so they can uh, look into the water. And they've also got a little bit of a forest because they like trees. Uh, and there's a yeah, view. Can hear, I in yeah, we've got viewing platforms all around the outside with two one way glass. Oh, is it? Oops. Isn't that coming around? Let's not question. Let's let's not question. Okay, so there's two way. <laughs> First time we filmed this, um, I realised all my one way glass was wrong around, so the animals could see out, but we couldn't see in. <laughs> this is why it's good for filming it the third time. Yeah, there's education boards everywhere. So another staff path. And where are we? Okay, no disrespect to my family on this one. So during the stream, uh, my mum said she loved warthogs. So I made this sign quickly. This is uh, my crazy family dedicated uh, to the warthogs. Got some facts. So warthogs love to nurture. So if a mother loses her warthog babies, she'll adopt. Well, obviously uh, not really adopt, but she'll take them in as her own. This one made me laugh. They sleep underground, um, but they don't make their own burrows. They steal them. Look at that little cheeky face. These signs aren't really symmetrical or straight, but it's fine. Um, warthogs like to roll in the mud to protect them from the sun. And they can run up to 30 miles per hour, and they do that speed to uh, run with predators. So, these are the White House warthogs. <laughs> I got really attached to these warthogs when I was in the stream. Yeah. Oh, Make a noise. Yeah, I, I like making custom shelters because it makes it more personal. Mm -hmm. In a bit, you'll see my first exhibit that I made in the stream, and it's a uh, slightly different, slightly uh, different outline on my first exhibit. I got better, as you'll be, as you'll see. Twenty-four hours is a long time to play to play one game. So what? I've, so another thing about MS is um. You need all the like facilities to buy, like toilets, food, water. You don't be walking miles. So one thing I've done is added toilets and like drink facilities, basically not everywhere, but uh, close enough. Yeah, you have, this is here. You've got some food places, but but you'll see some toilets and some food places dotted around. So. Again, you've got another donation box and another MS uh, Harrow MS logo. I've basically put it everywhere. There's some things you're seeing like now, but you'll get closer later. You'll get closer look later. Like this little thing here, you're not going to see yet. 
uh, I'm leaving it till loft. Oh, we're throwing the mechanic. Um, yeah. Oh, they are. Yeah, entirely funded. Um, they don't get funded by the government or anything, and it's a vital service that my nan uses, but also yeah. many others. On Jerry's, um, uh, so you can see like he made a replica of the Harry Potter yeah. Center. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely yeah. good. So this is, if you keep going on for my time, this is the first exhibit I made. So twenty four hours, like in the first hour of the twenty four hour stream. Um, let's say it was not my best exhibit. Oh, so Yes, I did. I restarted about oh, five times. Okay, we'll find it in a minute. Anyway, this is my exhibit called Buffalo Bill and the Buff Boys. I got very attached to these buffalo. As you can see, it's not the most um, aesthetically pleasing of exhibits. It's because my uh, creative juices hadn't yet flowed. But... I'm still learning the game as well. Oh yeah, I barely paid the game. I paid the game for, I think on my um, account on Steam, it said I paid for like two, two, two to four hours or something like that before even starting the stream. And then that was up to like twenty six hours. <laughs> oh, I love I love the buffaloes. The one with... Oh, there's poo. <laughs> Probably got some kids oh, giggling. Easy, bro. Allow it. Allow it. Allow it. Before Dewey gets killed by a buffalo. I've been quite lazy today on my hours. It must be a hot day. Though, isn't it? Yeah. Hot Gorgeous sunny day. Gold. We'll come out this way because there should be a sign there because I did go around putting loads of signs in. Maybe because Dre put it out that wasn't enough signage. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so we've got an education board there. And if we zoom in, meet our first animals. Buffalo, African buffalo are a gentle giant vegetarians. There you go. No one's really looking at the buffalo right now because I've got much more interesting exhibits. No offence to the buffalo. Um, let's keep going then. Yeah, if we do this big, you need a lot of stuff. What's this one? Happy hippos! No one is happier than a hippo in mud, in fact. I also got really attached to these guys, didn't I? I think I was a bit delirious by that point. <laughs> You're swimming now. Hope no one gets uh, sick. Under the water. It's very sunny in our room, hence the air. Uh... Is this in my hand? Can I run with my swimming? Oh, yeah, they are. Look at this chubby boy. Hello. He looks asleep. Is he just kind of sleepwalking? Does look like he's sleepwalking, doesn't he? I just love how, like, I don't know. They're just, they're just, they're just lumps of legs. I suppose. You have to like live with like one male and about a dozen females. Oh yeah. So live in the ultimate bachelor life, I suppose. Oh, there's so much poo everywhere. I need keepers to clean up all this poo. How do you do your job? Yeah. Yeah, this is this is one of the uh, in-game shelters, but uh, but also I thought it fit with the like aesthetic. Yeah. Hippo bomb. <laughs> Leave him to sleep. Okay. What's next? Got more benches, more people. <laughs> okay. Oh, I know what this exhibit is. I mean, I should not have built it. People would move out the way. Gosh. Wouldn't be there, Joey. Keep going. 
This is Tapir Cove, as you can see. There's a sign somewhere about saying Tapir Tobacco Animals, but we'll see it in a sec. What, what were we going in? Okay, so we've gone the wrong way, but sure. <laughs> Alright, we're going in the wrong way. Yeah, we're so this is um this is a bit called tape it's called birds and buddies birds and buddies that you mm -hmm. pronounce bird tapirs. So this is what there's two types of tapirs in game, so I made sure I put both in. So we've got capuchin monkeys which are very loud and anteaters as well. The capuchin monkeys I didn't realise they could climb. So yeah, during the stream they climbed out and they ended up on the other side which was uh There's a sign somewhere but you might not even see it. Um, and it okay. says, uh, why have one breeder tape here when you can have two? I think it's uh, sound logic, if you ask me anyway. There's education boards for all type, all three animals that are in here. Oh, here it is, yeah. Why have one breeder tape here when you can have two? Oh, that's a great picture of some tape here poop in the background. Okay. But yeah, we'll, we'll... If you can hear the computer monkeys, they're very loud. Um... I remember my mum um, on the stream. She, was like, <laughs> she kept checking that the uh, all the animals are okay after they escaped. But they, got, they quickly got boxed yeah, up. You put, you put them in a place of colonial barriers, and then were surprised when they all broke out in completely different directions. I also got very confused um, because there were two types of tapirs, and I ended up so there was one anteater who was in the wrong place. Hmm. Yeah, it was a very hectic hour. But yeah, this is tapir cove. You got tapirs, and you've got their friends who are called the. Okay. I, don't know if, I can't pronounce it. But look at their cute. Yeah, look at their cute little faces. Okay, what do you want? And there's a tape here. These are like the more kind of traditional looking ones, like the ones that you see in the media and stuff. And the babies look like cucumbers. They're being lazy. They're very yeah, cute. Yeah. I just thought they were cute, so I had to put them in. There's my handmade uh, shelter, but it's, it's not the best because there's some floating rocks. Yeah. You live and you learn. But there's lots of climbing frames for the binturong as well. Because um, binturong and the computer team both like climbing. Have you realised? Where are you going? <laughs> This is another staff building, but I made it like tape here uh, themed. And here's my lovely sign with my little bitmoji. Wrong way. Cats favourite animals, and they uh, baby tapirs are cracking cucumbers, as you can see. There's no babies at the minute because uh, because they're playing for 24 hours. We turned off breeding because mm -hmm. otherwise we'd be overrun. Okay, so I don't want to come this way on this exhibit, but we'll have a look anyway. So this is a very special exhibit. This is Matilda's giraffes. You'll see it properly when we go on the front. But um, it, my cousin is obsessed with giraffes. So everything on this little exhibit is giraffe themed. <laughs> when I showed it to her, um, we did her like I think at like ten o'clock in the morning, on this on um, twenty four twenty three hours in, we gave her a little tour. So. We're almost at the uh, big giraffe house. <laughs> I say almost, it's a long path. One of my favourite exhibits, and it's her favourite exhibit as well. Oh, this bench of fruit bats falling over. Someone will fix that. Here it is, almost there. Big cues. You zoom out and turn. Jerry's uh, navigating it because if I was doing it, it'd be a mess. So this is Matilda's giraffes. Giraffe exhibit for my cousin. Um, this is a two-way, a one-way glass. Um, when giraffes are in there, you have to see them. Obviously, I've got a little giraffe-themed swing. Um, and a giraffe information board. Let's see if we can find some giraffe. I've not seen any yet. Oh, 
Yeah, they are. They're all hungry. Hey, hey. They're very hungry. Oh, I don't want to see their butts. That one looks like he's dancing. I always thought giraffes are majestic creatures, so. But yeah, this is one of the exhibits I planned from the start. And I knew I was going to have a big uh, giraffe house dedicated to her. And if you're watching, Matilda, here's your little shout out. <laughs> I'm sure she'll end up watching this at some point. Because she enjoyed the yeah, tour so much. <laughs> She also, she also liked any time we went to the poop, and she also liked, uh, I'm not sure if she likes them She liked the kind of, um, pig type animal, didn't she? Yeah. It's got good taste. You got some solar panels, because we're eco-friendly. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so, the, this is the mid part of my zoo. There's one more exhibit we'll see later, so you can see some toilets blended in. We're going to turn and look into this tree. So this is my playground. I dedicated it to Snowy, my friend Sarah, who was a brown leader. She passed away in December. Um, I put a little Snowy owl on the sign, and she always liked to play. Like if we went to like, we went to Kew Gardens, she was the first one in the play area. Like she was a big kid, so I thought I'd put it in. We also have some playground rules because stay safe. You didn't, you didn't look in the playground. Yeah, we you have to show off the playground. <laughs> So yeah, we have this little playground that I thought was quite cute. Let's walk through it. We have a little picnic area. Um, as you can see in front of you, there's a second forest food court and a second here to help. And there's, I think there's another one of these as well. I just thought I'd spread them throughout the park, especially because it's so big. Yeah. Yeah. Of what you'll see in a second. Here's another for a food court. Because you don't want our guests to get hungry. I also really like these um, seats that came with the game. This is a huge stuff building in the middle. Because if you see this size, you need like um, water um, treatments, um, electricity machines and stuff to use everywhere. Because otherwise I complain. So, are you still going down the middle? Mm -hmm. That's not <laughs> so yeah, we're walking this way. You saw you saw a bit of a spoiler of this earlier, but uh, ahead of you is a very special exhibit that I wanted to include. Well, a very special feature feature area something. So you can both fight everywhere. This is Granny Evelyn's Butterfly Garden. So, Evelyn's like my third grandma. Uh, she passed away two months ago. Um, there's a blue, there's a blue um, butterfly there instead of a orange one because she loves QPR. And um, obviously, butterflies fit the theme of the zoo. But whenever, because she was deaf, whenever we were in church and she couldn't hear, she'd hold up a little butterfly on a stick. So I thought doing a little butterfly garden would be good, nice for her. So let's go explore. Oh, oh, yeah, it looks very nice at night, so we're just going to show that. So I, I just thought it would be nice to do like a little place of reflection. Like, because the zoo is always quite busy and bustling, so I thought, why not um, have, to have a little place of calm with little cute uh, glass benches, pretty water features. We're just going to make it sunny again so we can uh, walk through it. Oh, sorry for the glare. Yes, yeah, so it's Evelyn's Butterfly Garden. You also have some toilets that are hidden and fit in with the theme. It's a huge garden as well. So no matter where you are, you won't have like people everywhere. Like, this is, I think this is the one quite a part of my zoo, isn't it? Okay. And as we're coming out, we're coming to our last exhibit, which is dedicated to my grandma who inspired the challenge because, as I said, she uses the EMS therapy centre, passed on for years. Uh, this is her. This is her animal. She told us, and you can see it's the orangutan. Who doesn't love an orangutan? 
So I've called this Grandma's Orangutangs. You'll see a sign for it in a second. Um, oh, here we are. We'll zoom in and see if we can see any orangutangs. So it says uh, Grandma's Orangutangs on one sign, and on the other sign, it's got a fact. Um, orangutan means man of the forest in Malay. So. And if we go in, we've got two little viewing galleries to these domes. I don't think any of them are up there, annoying. But um, if you go to the other domes, so you can see the uh, cute little sign we've got. Oh, well, yeah, look, we've got a. I, 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 love, I fell in love with the sign. So let's see if we can find an orangutan. You, you understand why there's two domes in a second. Where are you hiding today? There's lots of climbing places because orangutans like to climb. Oh, hello. <laughs> there are a lot. Oh, there you go. He's climbing. <laughs> there are there are more than one of them, but I don't know where they were hiding today. Maybe they knew we were filming. Oh, he agrees. Okay, so now we're going to show you the shape of my zoo. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see from above, it looks like a butterfly. Like, obviously, I was called Papi Papi and Park, and I wanted it to look like a butterfly. I also thought that the head of the butterfly, if you zoom out a second. If you've seen Moana, I thought it looked a bit like the crab from Moana. But yeah, I, I, I did a lo lovely little butterfly to go with the theme of my zoo. And it took it took ages to get the butterfly shape, didn't it, Joey? Yeah, it took ages to find Oh! Thing. Yeah, I, I, redid, I redid the start of my zoo about three times. Here they are. So if you're underneath in the, in the dome, you have to see the orangutans and look up at the... So... Yeah, so they can climb across. None of them have at the moment, but they can. That's the important part. Yeah, I think that's my whole zoo. My zoo is huge because I got my proportions wrong, but I think it looks amazing. I got excited. And then from that slight mismeasurement, everything else went a bit off scale as well. But this is the first ever zoo I've completed. So I'm happy with it. And I hope you guys like it as well. Papillon Park is open for business. The only park out there that looks like a butterfly. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to do, especially because they were doing a 24 hour solid stretch. Yeah. It was quite a challenge of endurance. <laughs> and on our computers, both computers crashed a few and, times. And a Tesla relationship as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, the stress was high when I realised just how large Kat had made her zoo. <laughs> Looks and good. My, <laughs> my mind's a bit smaller and a bit more contained. So we, we, we hit our target, didn't we? We, we did. We did hit our target, but any extra that goes in is all my very much appreciated. But yeah, but you haven't, as I said, how I must therapy centre funds themselves and the link for the just given page will be wherever you found this video. So thanks for watching and uh thanks for your support.